Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Africa again. It's like Africa is batting a thousand with this incredible news. I love it when I hear things like this where things are happening on the continent that are going to benefit the people on the ground, the people of the region. That's what I like to hear. I don't like to hear about people coming in, taking advantage of folk and uh, misusing and mistreating people. But when I hear stuff like this, this really, really just makes my heart feel glad okay now it says that Kenya installs the first solar plant that transforms ocean water into drinking water and it could be the solution to the global lack of water okay it says approximately 2.2 billion people worldwide do not have access to safe drinking water facilities this is happening on a planet covered by the essential element for life by 71% what seems like a contradiction can be the key challenge for humanity's future. How can we turn the ocean seawater into drinking water? Yeah, you would think that the, uh, the earth being set more than 70% water, how could there be a lack of water? I mean, that's always been very, very uh, tripped out to me in terms of thinking that there's got to be a way to do this. But to hear that they've already done it in Kenya, an area that really could use this water. This is really, really good news to hear. Okay, so I'm going to read more of this article. It says, conditions in sub-Saharan African Africa are even worse. For this purpose, the region was selected to build the first solar plant project to turn the salt water of the Indian Ocean into clean drinking water. This has been in use since Kianga, is the name of the fishing town where this, the project is operating successfully. It was funded by the nonprofit Give Power, and the organization is already planning to replicate the project in other countries, such as Colombia and Haiti, thanks to its achievements. A traditional desalination plant uses large amounts of power. The system is costly and can work only in places with adequate infrastructure to produce and distribute much water. These problems have been solved by the NGO using a technology called solar water farms, which involves installing solar panels capable of producing 50 kilowatts of energy, high performance Tesla batteries to store it, and two water pumps operating 24 hours a day Every day, the network will provide 35,000 citizens with drinking water. In fact, the water quality is better than that of conventional desalination plants, according to Give Power. However, it does not have the negative impact on the environment that the process usually creates using salt extraction. It generates salty contaminants and toxins that are tamped into animals and plants. Kianga becomes an area of extreme drought after the rainy season produced by the monsoon wind and its 3,500 residents have been forced to travel for an hour to collect water. The only supply that they used to have at their fingertips originated from a well on the same stream where animals used to bathe. It was full of pollutants and parasites that might cause diseases such as E. coli and mortality too. They had to drink, bathe, and wash their belongings with that dirty and salty water before implementing this technology. You have children in these villages and they have these bruises on their stomachs and thighs because they had so much salt in their wounds. They basically poisoned their families with this water, says Hayes Bernard. So I'm glad to see that this solution has uh, come to the forefront for the people of this area. Um, I, I hope that they can definitely get this going on a larger scale across the continent, um, around the world, and other regions such as Haiti as well. And um, this is really nice. I'm glad to see that something this positive is taking place that is going to affect the people on the ground in Africa. Many times when I speak on Africa, 
Um, I'm usually talking about those in power who are taking advantage of the people or not helping the people, not supporting the people, not loving the people. And so this right here makes me feel good. I just want to see it uh, grow uh, to the point where the people can benefit from this on a larger scale. But this is a start. Okay, I just wanted to share this wonderful news with you all, family. With that, I will say shalom. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also, comment, share, like, and subscribe.